Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data, and in this video I'm going to show you how to link Google Ads to Google Analytics. I'll also briefly cover the benefits of linking your accounts, potential issues you might encounter, and how to check the accuracy of your reports after the accounts have been linked. Okay, let's jump in and get started. By linking Google Ads to Google Analytics, you'll be able to understand how people engage with your website after they've clicked through from one of your ads. This lets you understand how people behave and if they convert in more detail. We're currently looking at the Google Ads Campaigns report in Google Analytics. This is one of the reports you'll be able to use after you've linked ads and analytics. We can see that the report lists all of our campaigns and it combines data from Google Ads and Google Analytics. The first three columns in the report show us clicks, cost, and cost per click. These metrics are directly from our Google Ads account. Then moving to the right, we can see users, sessions, bounce rate, and other metrics. These metrics are all from Google Analytics, so you can see that by taking the time to link accounts, we're going to have a richer, more complete set of data to use when analysing the performance of our campaigns. Apart from being able to use the dedicated reports, you'll also be able to import goals from Google Analytics into Google Ads. You can create audience lists in Google Analytics, which will then be available in Google Ads. You can use the attribution reports to see how people engage with your ads and how they also engage with other marketing channels. You can create segments and custom reports, and you can even pull some of the top-level engagement metrics from Google Analytics into your Google Ads account. Okay, so you're probably ready to link your accounts, but before you do, the two most important things to check are that you have the correct level of permission in both accounts, you'll need edit permission in Google Analytics and administrative permission in Google Ads. And the second thing is that you need to be using the same login for both Google Ads and Google Analytics. You can click the icon in the top right corner to check your login details. Here we can see I'm using my Hello at Loves Data account. Okay. Now let's head to Admin in Google Analytics to check our level of permission. Now let's select Google Ads Linking. I'm currently in the Google Analytics demo account, and since I don't have edit permission for this account, we can see that I can't select the Add New Link Group button. And when I do click the button, a message pops up saying I don't have edit permission. So if you see this message, you'll need to contact one of the administrators for the account and either ask them to increase your level of permission or ask them to link Google Ads and Google Analytics for you. And just to note, if someone's level of permission is increased to link the accounts, you can change their permissions back and the data will continue to flow into your reports. OK, so let's open a different Google Analytics account. In this account, I do have edit permission, so let's select Google Ads Linking. We can see that it's immediately prompting me to link my Google Ads accounts. This means I have edit permission. So if you see a list of accounts like this, or you see that the Add New Link Group button is available, then you're ready to go. Before we travel through the steps to link our account, let's head to Google Ads. We're going to check our permission in Google Ads, but let's quickly check that we're using the same account. To do this, we can see the details in the top right corner, and this also shows me that I'm using my Hello at Loves Data account. Okay, now let's select Tools and Settings, and then Access and Security under Setup. We can see that my login does have administrative permission for the account, so that means I have everything I need to link the accounts. We can see that the current login we're using is highlighted with you. So if you follow these steps and your login has standard access, then you'll need to contact an administrator in the account and either ask them to increase your permission or get them to link the accounts. 
If you're using different logins for Google Ads and Google Analytics, then pick the login that has the correct level of permission and then add that login to the other account. For example, if you have edit permission in Google Analytics, then have that login added to Google Ads. Now let's head back to Google Analytics. I still have Google Ads linking selected, but if you don't, then navigate to Admin and select this option again. Now you can select one or more Google Ads accounts to link to Google Analytics. The numbers we see here are different customer IDs for each of the Google Ads accounts. If you see multiple IDs, then it's worth taking a moment to quickly check that you're linking the correct account. You can find the ID in the top right corner of your Google Ads account. And then we need to click Continue. You can then name the link group. This should be something short that describes the account or accounts you are linking. Then you can select the reporting view or views in Google Analytics where you want to see data from Google Ads. If in doubt, then you can select all of the reporting views. I highly recommend leaving auto tagging enabled. Auto tagging ensures that data is correctly synchronized in your reports, so we're not going to touch this option. And I also recommend enabling the data sharing option. Now we can click Link Accounts. That's it, we've now successfully linked Google Analytics and Google Ads. OK, so now let's head back to the Google Analytics demo account. I suggest waiting 24 to 48 hours after you've linked your accounts before following these steps. We want to check that things are linked correctly and that the data is accurate. Overall, you want to see a relationship between the number of clicks for each of your campaigns and the number of sessions. Ideally, they're very close or the same, but it's OK to have some variance between the two metrics. This is because a click is counted every single time someone clicks on your ads, while a session is only counted when the tracking code loads. There are times when this won't happen. For example, if someone has blocked the Google Analytics cookie, then that person won't be reported as a session, but you'll still have received a click on your ad. Ideally, when you compare clicks to sessions, they should be within a 10% threshold. The other thing to look out for is a high number for not set. This can occur if a Google Ads account isn't linked to Google Analytics, or if there is an issue with Google Analytics not correctly identifying your Google Ads traffic. Once you've linked your accounts and you see data for your campaigns, it's time to start exploring the reports. That's it. So that's how you can link Google Ads to Google Analytics. Once your accounts are linked, you'll begin to see data in the Google Ads reports. Remember, it's a good idea to check these reports 24 to 48 hours after you've linked the accounts. This gives you a chance to make sure the reports are accurate and everything is working as you expect. To learn more about Google Ads, including how to set up conversion tracking, please check out the extra resources in the description below this video. Have you linked Google Ads to Google Analytics? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.